taking the plaster and the spatula, if I fill these little gaps in here, like so. you can be fairly liberal with it. You're just basically a, uh, blending the rocks to start with. filling in the gaps between the rocks. And then before we do the rest of this area down here, in this case I just take a, a small brush like this and pre-wet everything and then scrub the plaster into the joints that were open, kind of smooth it out onto the face of the rock. blends in quite nicely. Fills the little cracks and holes. And then blast the area with, with the water, washing off the plaster off the hard cast and rock cast that we, we had previously. And you can see now we get quite a nice blending of, of the of the two. You can touch up the odd little hole that you might find and just give it a little blast. And this really works very well. The, you see you don't have to be fussy and about this whole process because it works very nicely. And then just blast plaster off the hard casting and it's all blended just like that. And now what we'll do is start working in the bottom edge of this so that it fills into what eventually will be the talus. So I'm just sweep, putting the plaster in and sweeping it up on, into the bottom of the rock casting edges. Like, again, fairly liberal. You don't have to be fussy with it. Adding enough plaster that you end up with a bit of a base, that thickness, so you're not, so that you're not exposing the, the hydrocal. And and then with the same brush, just spray the whole area, just to kind of wet it a little bit, and. Scrub the plaster into the rock castings, blend it all in, and then you can smooth the face of the, the plaster that's going to end up being the talus slope. Just give it a small, nice smooth brushing. And now what we'll do is flush the plaster off the hard castings expose the texture of the, of the rock casting that we had previously. And we don't have to be, as I said, we don't have to be that fussy about it all. This will all blend away and dry off. And then we can take the plaster and then continue to build a, a nice firm base. And I'm going to tree all this, so um, this is going to end up being fairly well covered with trees. And we've got a nice talus slope started to form here. Got a little bit of plaster work in here. We need to reinforce where there's some, where there's some hydrocal for showing. With a little wider brush, a little flat, nice flat brush, we can just brush the plaster up. Now this will set fairly quickly. 
and we can do a little bit more touch-ups as the plaster dries. Just put a little bit more over here, the side, and push it into the rock face there. Scrub it into the joint, and then just blast away a little blending of the rock texture so we, we salvage it. Sometimes the brush itself is good to pick up the plaster as well. When this all gets covered with sand and, and scenery, grass, shrubs, it'll all work out quite nicely. Now you, you'll notice that what's happened here is by over flooding and this being fairly soupy, I'm getting little rivulets off of here, so which is going to be indicative of water runoff off these rocks with a bit of erosion. And it becomes a very natural process in the application of, of the, uh, the plaster. We'll do some touch-ups over here just to take any hard edges off. Those nice little erosion areas. A little bit of scrubbing in over here. And then we'll let that set. Now, what we'll want to do is start filling in the top edge. the rock outcroppings at the top, plaster a little bit thicker, and we just press that into the top edges. I'll need another batch of plaster to to complete the edge up into the spline, but in the meantime what we can do is just do the final blending of the plaster to smooth that out as a top flat edge, and then just take and scrub the plaster into the rock work like like I'm doing right now, and then just blast the, the top edge so that we can expose those hard castings again. Make sure that you know the runoffs are not going to go with dry plaster. You've got to flush everything all the way through, or you're going to get hardened areas which won't look right. But the rivu all the sort of rivulets or the washouts actually works very nicely because it's it's a, it's a natural effect by using a real soupy mix and lots of water 